I paint, so I, I approach everything with a painter's perspective. I'm always trying to ramp light off or vignette things or, you know, manipulate light in ways that it doesn't normally behave. We've got a lot of controls on how light can fall off. We can make it do anything, you know, because it's, it's, you know, it's just all math. One of the great opportunities I had when I sort of inherited the crew from this film was that I got a lot of really talented people that I'd never worked with before. And, uh, you know, right at the front of that line is Sharon Callahan. There was this uh, a little spark that happened with both of them. I think what Brad knew he had was a dramatically talented uh, lighter. And what Sharon knew, what she had in a director, was somebody was going to set her up for for a sort of dramatic success. You know, Brad, not only into the script, but uh, into the layout phase and so forth, really works camera angles that's going to allow someone like Sharon to bring her best talent to bear. We had a great kinship in terms of what kind of photography we like. I would just be really excited about each of her takes on the, the lighting. On other Pixar films, the production designer has done the lighting pastels, and in this case, Sharon did them. She's a great painter. So I spend a lot of time at my desk just, you know, trying to figure things out, trying different approaches to things before we settle on a final look. And those I present to Brad, and I bounce them off Harley to see what he thinks, and, you know, and it's, it's a very collaborative effort. She analyzes what's been done before and sort of says, well, here's where I think we're going to take um, we're going to take this in a certain direction, we're going to take this in another direction. So we looked at so many movies together. She'd bring in some and I'd bring in some that we thought applied to different sequences in the film or the movies that we just liked for whatever reason. I spent some time looking at some of my favorite films, you know, and the cinematography on them, and just looking at some of the qualities that I was really most interested in, figuring out how to bring them into the CG world, you know, especially some of the atmospheric stuff, some of the wet stuff, um, just some of the, well, and even the fog sequences in particular, I really wanted something that felt like you were there, you know, that you had the fog in your face and the rain, like I love the exterminator sequence because when I watch it, I feel like I'm getting wet and I really wanted that kind of quality. And so I had to look at enough real stuff to make sure that, you know, I was getting getting that level of reality. Without going photo real, I still wanted to add an element of our own stylization to it as well. In lighting, when it comes to the lighting group, what has happened just before that is a combination of layout and the, the characters in animation and all the shading and so forth, and everything sort of culminates into this basket we call lighting, and they take it and they give it the tone and feel that really evokes the mood and, and everything that we're really trying to sort of pull out of these scenes and, and what's uh, inherent in the script. A lot of what we're trying to do look-wise on this movie that's different than what we've done before is, is mostly in color and where it is and where it isn't. And I wanted a more, not necessarily photoreal, but a more photographic style. There's richer color in the darks than what you typically tend to get with CG lighting. We love uh, seeing detail in the blacks. We love the blacks being rich. There's a tendency in a lot of uh, CG films to kind of overlight things to make them pretty. And I think that both Sharon and I feel that there's beauty in darkness. When she wanted to go there, I was just, you know, she, she kind of expected some resistance from me because, uh, uh, you know, it's a little different than what people normally do. And I was like, great, you know, turn out the lights, let's go. I was really excited about the sequence where Remy's running around on the wall and stuff because it's an, an opportunity to really use light in a very minimalist and very precise way. We wanted to keep it all really dark inside there so that we had a big contrast when he came up on the roof and looked over the edge and you got this huge panoramic vista of all these glittering lights. When you're working with an artist like Sharon, you don't you don't talk about her as having a style or a singular aesthetic, right? She um, she creates, you know, she creates what's right for the film that she's making. And in this film, I think that she was really able to um, spread her wings and explore. 